And welcome to this standalone video where Andy's wearing a nice sa is it pink or salmon? I don't know, you tell me. I'm sure he calls it salmon. Uh, <laughs> T-shirt. We are going to be looking around some combines. So we're going to Riffin Farm Services combined event. And um, yeah, we're going to check that out. So stay tuned and see some. some. See some. See some. See some. Mm, that's a bit weird. Anyway, we're off. Steve jumped in. Ben's coming with us. You want to see some combines? No, it's not a <laughs> I think that's what Andy that's saw. Right, yeah. Free food. That's free like free food. food. Carrying that we don't know where we're going, but follow that pickup. It says ripping on back. It's looking good. If I can get drawn up later, we'll uh, get a shot of this. It's looking um, busy, there's cars literally everywhere. Um, some old John Deere's, some new John Deere's, that Kramer, that nine meter that we had on demos here as well. And then a load of combines. So um, yeah, should be fun. Had Ben and uh, Andy have already left me to go and get some food and beers, I think. This is Rippon's fridge. Is this like common in the staff room? <laughs> <laughs> we wish. Yeah. <laughs> Look at all them beers. It's amazing. And some milk, of course. It's in one day, Matt just can't keep out of videos. I know, you just love it, don't you, Joe? Yeah. <laughs> I love the beers and the <laughs> burgers behind us. We'll check that out in a minute. So Matt's telling me this is the biggest combine in the world. So what is it? X9 1100. X9. 750,000, 45 foot header, 100 tonnes an hour back to the yard. 750,000 pounds. <laughs> Jesus. How many are we having, Andy? Two? For a nice house <laughs> the wow. Yeah, it's huge. Impressive bit of kit. So this um this put I pointed with my beer. So that some of the chaff comes out there and some of it comes out of the some of it comes out of the spreaders at the back. Are you were saying it's 100 ton an hour. 100 ton an hour. And 1%. 1% losses. So you'll lose a ton an hour through this combine. Yeah. yeah. 1%. <laughs> That's scary, that. That is scary, <laughs> isn't it? He's on account of that, he's going to panic. Jesus. That's when, 180 if, quid at the moment. Yeah. You'll find somewhere else to do it. <laughs> right. I'm having a look up the steps. Now. Jeez, on top of the beast. Right on top. Look at that. Bought Matt on this, but it can hold about 14 ton in here. So um, it can hold more than our small Bailey trailer. Our big Bailey trailer only holds around about enough to pull one tip of the combine. It's big. To be honest, these combines look fairly small in this shed. It's a, it's a decent sized thing. Got a balcony, I'm. Fetch me a beer, I'm at VIP. I know. <laughs> Get down these ladders. Look at the size of that oil pipe. Put your hand near it, Ben. One of these here. Oh, so I'm used to. <laughs> yeah. It looks almighty clean, doesn't it? It says there's uh, air jets on it and then blow it. There's a pipe here to blow you, blow you, blow it down. It says it blows itself down. All oh, right. Well, that'd be all bits you can't get to, I guess. Well, well I can't see any air pipes anywhere. 
beast. Up the proper steps now and have a look in the cab. Oh my god, it's got a, uh, a bottom section to the door so you can put some stuff in. Nice. Well, the seat's quite, quite nice. Good visibility all around. Oh, it's got massage chair. Very nice. Like it was in the um, 7R. Lots of USB outputs for phones and cameras. <laughs> that, I'm just thinking for my personal uh, usage here. Nice drinks, cans, three like that. In the roof, we've got a camera similar to the 7R that we tried over the summer. What have we got here? It almost looks like that comes down, but maybe it doesn't. More aircon units. See into the tank at the back. Looks like we've got possibly a fridge there. Maybe. Oh, this might be the fridge. Oh, that's a fridge. Oh, that is a decent fridge, that. Yeah. And if you've got passenger, you can open it down that way. Oh, that's good, that. I like that. Very nice. 750,000. That's a lot of money. Like, that's three supercars, isn't it? Next time you see a um, combine coming down the road and it's massive, just think about that. 750,000. It possibly could have cost. There are some cheaper ones here as well, but this is the, the top, top, top machine. The biggest one in the world, so... Commands the biggest price, but... How do people pay that £180 a ton price a week? I don't know. But some people have the uh, acreage to make it pay. For the rodeo king, aren't we, Andy? <laughs> Andy, just having a look before it gets too dark. The Kramer. Everyone's seen this one. It's been at our place on demo. Hey, do you reckon we could get one of them, one of them combines on demo, Andy? Hey, that'd be, that'd be way forward, wouldn't it? Got to have a word with Matt for that. We've got a 6R250 and one beastie chaser bin. Perad? Perad? Not something I'm familiar with. PTO driven. It's big, isn't it? There'll be an auger in bottom, is there? And then it feeds it back up. Two augers. An auger in bottom, and then one, one to take it up to that. And all the way up onto the top, and the sheets on. But we're uh, we're going to unstrap it and have a look it up and this is actually the baby chaser bin so this is 27 cube they go all the way up to 46 cube yeah, once we get locally, 46, they actually do a 50 in factory as well 50 they don't even do a 50 jesus one on its own a little like 18 tons what will the like 47 cube one hold them 46 cube sorry Jeez, that's on, that just makes me feel like I'm allotment farming, like them sort of figures, crackers. Quite impressive, it's got um, suspension on the drawbar there, hydraulic suspension. Yeah, yeah. it's an impressive bit of kit that. Yeah. Steering axles, yeah. weigh cells, oh, cells, anything yeah. you can want. Ben drives one very similar to this, I think it's a little bit smaller than this one and it's older. But a um, similar size straw walker machine very good at not beating the straw to pieces which is what we beef and cattle men like um the massive x9 that we were looking at earlier i imagine will destroy the straw just because it's putting through it a hundred tons an hour um of corn so imagine what it's putting through a straw so yeah this is like a maybe more size that we 
would think about, but we're not going to think about a combine, don't anybody get that in their minds. You even get a wash tank now, cleaning your hands, eh? Thinking of farmers. <laughs> this for the uh, for straw blower, then this next machine, Andy. Yes, he says yes. Or ploughing. Yeah, either one. Either one. Even edge trimming. Andy just be on it for everything, basically. 49.55 Wow Very, very tidy example, isn't it? Some good tyres on it as well Ben's checking the balls out It's got, what, three spools? Yeah Wow Look at this how simple a setting do you want? Yeah, slow or fast for your That's hydraulics. Brilliant, isn't it? I know it has a turny on the. Is it what's on the new on the new one? You can turn them. Oh, in the cab, yeah. Well. Yeah, no, no areas for straw to really massively gather. Just simple. This would have been about 220 horsepower. I've just reliably been told. What a beast! So it's power shift in the cab, so you just keep pushing the lever forward and she would keep going forward. I like it, nice and simple, we've got manual spools, revs, it's a nice place to be in here. Look at these armrests, they're different aren't they? Electric four-wheel drive. Yeah, I could uh, I could spend some time in here. I think It'd be nice. And is finding out some more information. In here is all the technology harvest lab. The diff oh, that's a new Starfire, isn't it? We haven't seen that one, Andy. We haven't got one of them, have we? Seven thousand. That's his six, isn't it? Same as that one. Ah. Yeah. Show us it. This is the biggest touchscreen monitor we've ever seen in our lives, in our farming lives. Big phone. <laughs> yeah. Head 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 head. Go on, <laughs> JoeSeals.com. <laughs> Andy wants one of these touchscreen TV phones. Things. Do you want it with that? Look at it. Look at the what it stood up. Somebody's over-engineered that massively. Look at the over-engineering that's gone into. <laughs> That is the heaviest TV stand I've ever smallest, seen in my life. Running, it? It's got an RSJ to hold it up. Jeez. I bring these two to look at combines, and <laughs> Andy's now searching for new T. Honestly, eh? to be honest, though, it's cheaper than a combine, so yeah, whatever. Do it. This is an S790. So I think this is going to be used on this farm. From what I've heard, it's got tyres on it, on the header. That's fancy, isn't it? Showing Andy, uh, you see this finned thing at the back here? I bent one of them back in the day. Well, that's a story for uh, another YouTube video. <laughs> what, do you want to drive a combine, Andy? It'd be interesting, mate. It would. I quite enjoyed my combine driving yeah. days. Yeah. Quite nice. Yeah. Yeah. Especially when we've got a new one like this. You know, hit, hit, we, we, um, <laughs> we could have a day out combine somewhere. Yeah. yeah, yeah. On a big combine. On our yeah, in our fields. Oh, anyway. We could have like, you know, Matt could fetch us some John Deere's to play with. One each. We yeah, could, one we each. We could just do everything in a day. The sizes, couldn't we? <laughs> yeah. I mean, we'd been on the chase of it and he's done it before. We have that 100, 100 to, to an hour one yeah. and then tell Ben to keep up. <laughs> <laughs> ben and Connor. Get, get going, get going. Looking at the sieves in the back of the combine, so all the um, chaff comes up here, gets sieved through, and all the seed drops through to the bottom. Lights are good in it, aren't it? 
Managed to be the last uh, people that aren't wearing a ripping top or a burger top. It's all gone, all done. We're going out in town now. <laughs> yeah, look at that for a sunset. Nice. That's it, Andy's absolutely freezing because he's from the south. It's warm in Devon, you know. I could have given him my top, but I thought, nah. <laughs> That'd be a bit girly, wouldn't it? But, um, what? Did you give him my coat? Here, Andy, do you want my coat? It's my top. <laughs> I nearly said to it else then. <laughs> I'm going in front. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Anyway, we've had a really good time at Riffin Farm Services, um, as you maybe can tell. And um, yeah, if you've liked it, like and subscribe. And um, if you want some combines or something like that, ask for Matt at Riffin. Said that Joe sent you, and um, they'll be really annoyed by it. Brilliant. Bye.